After watching a couple of tutorial videos on how to power an Xbox with an ATX power supply, uh, I've decided to make my own because I want to make it as simple as possible for people who don't know what they're really honestly doing. Uh, what you'll need is a power supply. I'm using this Allied brand power supply. It is a 350 watt ATX power supply. You will want to have above a 200 watt power supply. Uh, you can get away with the 200, but you probably shouldn't do it. Uh, if it's the only thing you've got, yeah, you can go for it. You can try it. Uh, but really don't expect your power supply to live very long. What you'll need off of the power supply is only seven wires. Uh, you will need three 12 volt wires, three ground wires, and a five volt wire. What I've done, and you can do this differently, uh, but it was just kind of the easiest, well, pretty much the first thing I thought of, I cut off the four pin connector. Not all power supplies will have these, so you will end up having to use uh, wires from two Molex connectors, that is, these four pin, other four pin connectors. Uh, basically, all you do is just chop the ends off and use the wires. You will need the three... Uh, the three yellow wires, the three black wires, and one red wire. All you do is strip them down and put it in the little holes. 12 volt wires go, well, 12 volts are the yellow ones, they go in the top row of, uh, of holes down up there, and the black ground wires go on the bottom. Up here on the top is where it can get a little tricky, and you do have to be careful. Uh, if you get it wrong, it's not going to explode or anything, uh, but it is always nice to have it correct. This is the 5 volt wire, and it goes, I'm not sure if you can see it there, I've got another power supply, or another Xbox over here. You can see there's two pins at the top, one's on the left, one's on the right. You want to put the 5 volt red wire on the left one. Uh, this, to be honest, I don't remember what it does, but you need it, and uh, if it does touch the other one, it's not a big problem, but you really want to avoid it if you can. So, as I haven't mentioned yet, probably, uh, you have to short the pins out in order to act as a power switch. Uh, it's green to black, or sometimes it's purple to black. Uh, really, any color, depending on your power supply, to black uh, will start it up. If you need any more information on that, just... Google it. Uh, there's probably people who can explain it better than me. So I've turned on, on my power supply. It's already running because I've got it jumped. Uh, and we'll just show you that it does in fact work. I can't. Hold on. I can't hit the power button. Come on. Well, there we go. And uh, currently it is getting the red ring of death because I don't have the AV cable plugged in and it's got some other issues. Uh, but it is a way to turn on and test an Xbox 360 and it does work. Uh, your fans are going back here and everything is on and working just fine. So there is hopefully the quickest and easiest to understand tutorial you've watched on making an Xbox 360 run off of an ATX power supply. Thanks for watching and I hope this helped you.